Hi, I welcome you all to this video session on number system. Number system is the most important chapter in CAD preparation simply because this constitutes highest weightage of problem solving section of CAD. And at times this chapter alone is itself to clear cut off. So, number system. Numbers are categorized into several categories. Broadest of all is real and imaginary numbers. What are real numbers? What are imaginary numbers? Any number of the form, any number which can be represented on the number line is a real number and a number which cannot be represented on the number line is an imaginary number. Let's talk simple. Let's talk in layman's language. I will say any number which represents any physical quantity is a real number and a number which do not represent any physical quantity is an imaginary number. We will discuss imaginary numbers in details in the later portion. At the moment we will concentrate on real numbers. Real numbers are categorized into several categories. The broadest of all is rational and irrational numbers. Let's see what rational numbers are. Any number of the form P upon Q where Q is not equal to 0 and P and Q are integers and P and Q are co-prime is a rational number. So 2 upon 3 for example, 5 upon 4 for example, minus 7 upon 5 for example, minus 5 upon 7, just 5, 1.25 are all examples of rational numbers. What are irrational numbers? These are non-terminating and non-recurring decimal numbers. Non-terminating and non-recurring decimal numbers. For example, root 2, for example, cube root 7, etc. Let's take a question. Say, x is 1.333 and so on. So first question is x is rational or not? No doubt. x is rational. Why? Because since it is recurring, therefore, it is not irrational, therefore rational. Now, if I want to express it in its p by q form, how should I be going about that? Whatever is the number of digits repeating here, that is 1, I multiply x by 1, 0, which means 10, therefore getting 10x. And that is 13.333. Now, subtracting x from this, I'll have 9x as 12, and therefore x as 12 by 9. Let's take another question, slightly higher difficulty level. Say x is 7.525252 and so on. So how to convert it into its rational form that is p by q form? I multiply x by 100. 100 x is 752.525252 and so on. Therefore, 99 x is 7.45 which implies x is 7.45 by 99. I hope this is clear to all. Let's move on to a difficult, to one more step up difficulty level. Say, the question is 7.452525252 and so on. Mind you guys, here 4, that is the first digit after decimal, is not recurring. It is just the 52 part of it which is recurring. So I multiply x by what? Since again two digits are repeating, I'll again multiply x by two zeros. Therefore, getting 100x. 100x is 7.45.25252 and so on. Let's take another question. On subtraction, I'll be left with what? 737.8 and therefore x is 7378.990. That's quite simple. Now let's take a question, which is actually an old cat question, and this is x is 0 point pq, 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 and so on. x is multiplied by y, and the result is an integer. What can y be? Choices are 98, 198, 298, and 398. Think over it.
let's see what is written here. Oh, I cleaned it. No, that should be there in your memory. See, an important lesson which comes out of the three problems which we just did is whatever is the number of digits repeating is the number of nines which will come in the denominator when we convert the recurring decimal number to its p by q form. I'm saying it again. Whatever is the number of digits repeating in the recurring decimal form of the number is the number of nines which will come in the denominator when we convert this number into its p by q form. And the three examples supports this. Now, if I see this question, there are two digits repeating. And therefore, x, when expressed in p by q form, will be something upon 99 side. Now, something upon 99 should be multiplied by what in order to make it an integer? I'm sure all of you will agree to me, and that's 99. But then, unfortunately, that's there. there that's not there in the choices. Then what? Then it has to be a multiple of 99. So that 99 in the denominator gets ruled, ruled out. And 198 is one such multiple of 99 and therefore the answer. Now, let's make it a trick of what we just learned. I say A point B bar, if that's a rational number given to us, then it's P by Q form is AB, that is all the digits, minus A, that is the digits which are not repeating, divided by as many 9 as the number of digits repeating. Another similar question. A point BC bar will be all the digits minus those which are not repeating divided by as many 9 as the number of digits repeating. Or I can say AB point C bar will be all the digits minus those which are not repeating divided by as many 9 as the number of digits repeating. I hope this is clear to all. Let's move on to a different concept. In the next class, in the next session, I will be discussing divisibility rules and various cat problems which are asked on divisibility rules. Thank you for today.